Okay, so we've talked about subject matter jurisdiction. We've talked about joinder. Now let's tie them together. Rule 82 expressly states that the federal rules of civil procedure, including the joinder rules, do not extend or limit the jurisdiction of the federal district courts. This means that anytime you're dealing with cases involving multiple claims or multiple parties, it is not enough for you simply to analyze whether joinder is proper under the civil procedure rules. You must also analyze whether the court could properly exercise subject matter jurisdiction over each claim. The goal of this clip is not to introduce any new material, but rather to provide a brief illustration of how the subject matter jurisdiction and joinder rules we already talked about work together to limit each other and to define the overall scope of a federal lawsuit. Sometimes a claim cannot be heard in a particular lawsuit, even when the court has subject matter jurisdiction over it, because the joinder rules do not permit it to be brought into the case. Conversely, sometimes a claim cannot be brought into the lawsuit even though the joinder rules permit it, because the court lacks subject matter jurisdiction over the claim. We got our toes wet with this matter already in our prior two clips on supplemental jurisdiction. That stuff gets pretty complicated, and we won't rehash it here. Even so, now that you understand most of the joinder rules, maybe it's a good time to go back to both clips on supplemental jurisdiction and review them again. For illustrative purposes, we'll return to the example we used in our clip titled Joinder Part 1, since it lends itself to illustrating the concepts here. If you recall, the basic scenario is as follows. The town of Stuperville, in the state of hypothetical, holds a town hall meeting at the local high school. Jack, a prominent local attorney, is there, along with his paralegal, Jill. The meeting is packed with people. Bruno goes to the podium to speak, and he says the following. Jack and Jill are the ringleaders in a local witch's coven comprised of all the lawyers, judges, and paralegals in Stuperville. Last Sunday night, they kidnapped me and tried to sacrifice me to the devil. They had me locked in a small dungeon underneath the courthouse for hours, where they beat me and tortured me but I was able to escape just before the sacrificial ceremony was supposed to begin. 